Today I'm gonna to show you how I turned this into this. Looks nice, right? Welcome back to another Quick Tip Tuesdays. My name is Camilo, and today I just wanted to show you that you don't need a very expensive camera to get decent looking images. Today we're using the Canon M50, which is an entry level mirrorless camera. It's definitely not used by professionals. Usually I use the Sony a7 III for my videos, but I'm using a camera now that costs a fifth of the price, which hopefully will drill into you guys so you don't need a very expensive camera to get nice looking shots. So let's break down what I actually did to go from this shot into this shot. So as we can see from the other shot, we have quite strong shadows underneath our eyes because we're using the overhead lighting in my room. Everything looks very flat, very two dimensional, which is also due to the fact that everything is in focus. The background's in focus, I'm in focus, everything's in focus. So, especially doing talking head videos, it's very hard to focus on subject, which is me, because you're gonna get distracted by whatever is in the background. And that's not what you want. We're using the kit lens, which only stops down to f3.5, but you will see that when we have a lens with a f-stop of two, we get Nice blurry background, a lot more bokeh, more separation. It looks really nice. As well as that, the audio sounded like crap. Welcome back to the channel, my name is Camilo. Oh God, that's horrible. As well as that, the white balance is just wrong. It's very cool, which doesn't look good at all. Okay, so to show you how I got this set up, let's uh, try and revert back to how it was before, and then we'll slowly put things in. Okay, so this is roughly what we started with, except for the audio. I thought I'd leave the audio on because no one wants to hear shitty audio. So I connected the Rode Video Micro to the camera, which just gave me nicer audio than I did before. Our f-stop is at f8 and our ISO is 3200, which shows because we have a lot of grain being produced in the image. Let's firstly stop down from f8 to f4 to get more light in and hopefully get some nice blurry background to separate me from the background. So we go down to f4, things are a bit brighter. So that means I can turn my ISO down and I'm bearing in mind that I'm gonna add more lighting. Uh, as you can see, I'm still getting raccoonized. You know, the light is right above me. So we're gonna switch this off and turn my key light on. Okay, so key light is on, but it's still quite bright, but I can adjust that with my ISO. But before I do that, I wanna say that the light is very soft. And you can tell it's soft by just waving your hand over it. And if you compare this to this, you see that light is very harsh. So I get very harsh shadows. So harsh, soft, pretty good. So the actual position of the light is uh, 45 degrees from me and slightly up. And uh, due to the position, you get a Rembrandt style of lighting, which means you get a triangle here. And because I positioned it nice and high, it causes shadows right here, which is nice and flattering to my face. Basically, it gets rid of my double chin. Next, we're gonna turn on the practicals. So I have two practicals, I have a bedside lamp and I have a desk lamp. Most people have this. It's not exactly something that is expensive to get. These are probably from Ikea. Here's the first one. We're already getting a nice separation because we have the daylight and we have the tungsten light in the background. So this is really nice. And then we have the other one which lights up the rest of the room and it's already looking really good. So I'm pretty happy. Cool, so the only thing that's missing is this, my kicker light this little light here, it's just lighting up the side of my face and giving me like an edge light. It kind of separates me more, it gives me an outline. So this is before and this is after. Ideally, I'd have this a bit higher up because right now my shoulders are catching the light as you can see here, but uh, you make do with what you have, so. And lastly, color grade. So this grade was done using one of my LUTs from my commercial pack, which I'll link in the description below. And essentially as a little bit of separation, it hues out the shadows, making them blue, and it makes the highlights a little bit warmer with the orange. So um, it just adds a little bit of separation. So if we count how many things it takes to make a shot look nice, lights, audio, color grade, three things. Not much, does it? Three things and you can get nice looking shots without spending a fortune on a more expensive camera. If I was to choose an order, I'd upgrade my audio first and then I'll get one key light and any other lights I've just used from my house. And uh, that's just have you sorted. The only other thing you need to worry about is your location. So yeah, that's it. If you like the video, make sure you leave it a like. I'll leave anything that I mentioned in the description down below. And if you have any questions, make sure to comment down in the comment section because I'll do my best to answer them. And then make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can get notified when I make a new video. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.